Welcome in to Game Night Live Rewinds, Game of the Week. We're coming to you from the house of such calls as madness at Westlake as the Westlake Thunder prepare to host the Lone Peak Knights in Region 4 play. Thank you for joining us, everyone. My name is Dane Stewart. Uh, this has been a great rivalry for years down here in Utah County, and we get the next edition here tonight as Westlake coming in 10 and 6 overall, 1 and 3 in region play, Lone Peak 8 and 6 overall, 0 and 4. Coach Ross still looking for that first region win in region play this year. And when you talk about this Lone Peak team visiting tonight, the offense points have not been as high as they were in non region play in region play and the defense is giving up more in region play than it did in non-region play as well got to get some things fixed mckay tanner the senior 13 points per game luke fotheringham 10 points per game they've got a lot of guys that can contribute think of hansen with seven sellers with seven tadgy demille they can both hit the outside shot it's just about that consistency for lone peak playing a full 32 minutes we'll see if they can do it tonight on the road this westlake team is going to come in awfully hungry a team that was uh, look got up to a great start this season, and then in region play they've hit a similar dry spell. Just one in three in region play. Losses to Skyridge, Pleasant Grove, and American Fork. Coming off that loss, two AF, a nine point loss, and welcoming in Dylan Jones, the transfer. He's averaging 18 points a game. You've got a lot of familiarity. Guys like Hoppins uh, or Willie Jensen that have contributed in the past, and a good sign there for Lone Peak because Taji able to drill up the three. And it's what we talked about, is just finding that consistency tonight. If Lone Peak can do that, this could be a tough team as Westlake works inside offensive board there. And it is knocked out, last touched by Lone Peak as Wendell got the offensive board. Westlake here to inbound baseline. Jensen throwing in to Anderson. I'm talking about a lot of versatility on this Westlake lineup as Jones, the tough finish, trying to switch hands. He thought there was contact there. No call from the officials as Lone Peak quickly up the floor. It's one of the things this rival, we've, we've seen games really amplified. Big energies, big atmospheres, contact, physical battles. I would expect that again here tonight as Hanson will send that out. Tanner leaving it for DeMille. DeMille, he's hit some timely threes this year for Lone Peak as the drive here by Fotheringham gives it back to Tanner. And this young man, look, McKay, he can absolutely get hot quickly as Taji will feed it to Hanson coming off that screen. Kale sends out Fotheringham, got a bit of an overcommitment, sends to Taji, his second three of the game. <laughs> Hoppins. Oh, tough shot. Nice job there by Caden Hoppins, the senior. Able to get one through the trees and the traffic. Hanson handing off. Tanner in the paint, knocked loose by Hoppins. Westlake on the run, Hoppins. And a foul here. A blocking call here. Called on Lone Peak. As it will be free throws here for Caden. First is good. And missed the second. Tapped out, gathered by Hoppins. And a foul, foul. foul called. Another drive there by Westlake, and another chance to head to the line here. And it will be Dylan Jones now with a pair of free throws for the Thunder. First rattles out. One more here. 
0 oh for 2 for Jones. That one couldn't be corralled. Westlake able to track it down. And Fotheringham with it now. We apologize. A little technical glitch there. We're just going to pause our clock, let it catch up as a denial there by Hoppins. Caden is flying around here early for the Thunder. There's five and a half to go here, and that one lost out. Give us a chance here to get our clock reset. 5.31, and it is Lone Peak basketball. Tanner has Fotheringham. He'll try the three. That one rattled out. Hoppins sends out for Anderson. He'll pull it from the line. Won't go. Taji had it. Got it knocked loose. It's Lone Peak basketball. Good pace here to start this Region 4 battle. Teams that are looking to rectify what has been tough starts in the deepest region in 6A. As Fotheringham will outlet to Hanson. Taji again. That young man is on fire. Another three for Dallin Taji. He's off to a tad of a hot start, Taji is. 6-3 senior, and the answer coming from Willie Jensen. There's Fotheringham. Nice job by Jones there. We'll stay right with it. Inside, Taji. Not just outside, inside for Dallin. He's got all 11 for the Knights. Hoppins looking inside, and a whistle here. The foul called on Tanner. It's the first personal on McKay. Third team foul on Lone Peak. No team fouls on Westlake as substitutions here for each side. Brig Pfeiffer coming on for the Thunder. Meanwhile, Cameron Swiggett making his debut of the night for Lone Peak. Oh, Hanson. Crafty play there, baseline, defending the inbound, able to steal it away. Long three from DeMille. That wouldn't go. There's inside, Pfeiffer sending out. Excuse me, that was Wendell. Oh, take there, off the front of the rim, rebounded by Fotheringham. And Lone Peak now trying to race up the floor here with Swiggett. Fotheringham. Hanson. Sends out DeMille. Oh, they left Swiggett, able to pull up. Hit it from 10. And a timeout taken by Westlake. 13 to six, a strong start for Lone Peak on the road. Jake said these are awesome for studying. Line, you shouldn't ever take someone else's medication. Know your script. Talk to your kids about the dangers of sharing prescriptions. Good start for Lone Peak. Three triples, all by Taji. Nice play at the rim by Dallin, and then Swiggett able to hit the baseline. Jay and a strong start. Westlake been able to get to the line a couple times, haven't been able to convert every time they've gotten there. You can see they're trying to work the ball inside, get to the rim against this Lone Peak lineup. This is the guy, Jones. Skips across, three on the way, won't go, and 
That rebound captured by Bryce Sellers, the 6'5 senior. He can also really shoot it. Swig it. Giving to DeMille. Swig it again. He'll pull up again from near. Cam Swig it with back to back buckets for Lone Peak. The lead pushed to nine. Hoppin sends across. Drive by Anderson. Skips across the rim. Offensive board by McManus won't go. Tip up won't go. And it's Tatchy with it. And right now there's a lid on the rim for Westlake. Boy, multiple good looks. Could not get one to drop. Inside of two to go. Here in the first and a foul called from 21 feet away. This is going to be called on the block there by Brig Pfeiffer. And a substitution is Willie Jensen going to come back on the floor here for Westlake. <laughs> Got to get this ball in, thrown into the backcourt. Swiggett will retreat. Want to remind you, the clock you see on your screen is unofficial. At moments, we'll hesitate starting it. Start it early just to keep it synchronized with the official clock here in the arena. As that three from Sellers, short. And then knocked away from Jones. Couldn't be gathered by Lone Peak. And Westlake pushing the tempo here as Dillon looking inside with McManus. Maverick going to work on Sellers. Too strong. And Sellers had it. Ball's on the floor. How about Jensen hopping? And do we have a timeout? Yes, we do. Timeout, Lone Peak. Timeout, Knights. 30-second time, 30 time now called by the Knights. College wasn't built for me. It didn't care if I had to work a double shift. Test day's test day. Deadline's a deadline. I want to set the deadlines. Tests on your time. Courses on your time. Graduate on your time. WGU, the nonprofit university of you. Well, I don't know if you could script a better start for Lone Peak. On the road against Westlake, they've shot the ball well. They've rebounded it incredibly well. And it's been a tough start for Westlake. Look, law of averages, I'm a big believer in that. It will play out over the course of the game. If you're Westlake, you just got to hang around in this. His tagging shot is short, and that deflected and kept by Isaac Johnson. He'll try the three. And a foul here going to be called on Sellers on the loose ball foul. First personal, fourth team foul on Lone Peak. And if there's one thing for Lone Peak, that, that's probably it, right? The number of fouls you've picked up here in the first four in the first quarter, just one on Westlake. As Jones, I mean, even that pass, he's going to be open. If that's on target, he's got to look. Just not clicking here for Westlake in the first. Straight away, Jensen off target. Jones, the offensive board. Count the bucket. And the foul for Dylan Jones is finally able to break that scoring drought for Westlake. And Jones with a chance here at the three-point play as McKay Tanner going to come back on the floor here for the Lone Peak Knights. Here's Dylan. Dylan. 15-9, Lone Peak basketball. Skipped across with Sellers. Would not be surprised if Lone Peak just tries to take some clock here. Westlake students starting to bounce the house. DeMille. Clock down to 10. Here's Tanner. 
High screen. Gives it back. Tadji straight away for three. Oh, rimmed out. And Jones won't get the shot away. A good look for Lone Peak, but they still got the lead. 15-9, Lone Peak leading Westlake after one. You're watching Game Night Live Rewind's Game of the Week. It'll be Westlake basketball to start the second quarter. Here's Jones, he'll take a long three. That was wide to the left, kept. Nice save by Jensen. Handed to Jones, tough finish won't go. Blocked away and a foul called underneath on the challenge by Lone Peak. As I think this is father, no, number 14, my apologies. It's Ike Staley picking up the foul. And the first free throw for Westlake won't go. There's Gage Wendell at the line here. 0 for 2. Another empty trip for the Thunder at the line. Inside, Dayton plays that out, gets it back. Here's Bridger. Up top with Staley. Long three from Sellers. The lead back to nine for the Knights. Hoppins. Home peak, little two three zone here. Jensen. Back up top with Hoppins. Inside to Wendell. He'll send out Jones. We'll try the three. Dylan Jones. Able to hit the three for Westlake to answer. There's Staley. I had that jarred loose, able to stay with it here with the Knights. Tanner in the paint, hanging, can't get it to go. Rebounded by Westlake. Back to Jensen, Willie. Off the mark, rebounded by Wendell. Gage Wendell starting to make his presence known inside. Jones again, too strong. Batted and gathered there by Sellers. Tanner, able to beat his man to the rim. McKay Tanner, that's the element to his game. I think he's underappreciated when he drives like that. Be a really tough guard. Here's Wendell looking to drive on Sellers. Nice take there by Gage Wendell. Long three, won't go. Rebounded there by Hoppins. Transition three from Jones, off the glass won't go. <laughs> Sellers, gives that with Johnson. Here's Isaac. Sellers the three. Bryce Sellers hitting another three. He's just under 40% from long range on the season. He's already hit a pair. Sent across, couldn't be cleanly handled, but regathered there by Pfeiffer. As he'll get it back, far side, defended by Sellers. So we approach the midway point in this second quarter. A little pump fake there by Hoppins. He'll take the three. We got ourselves a little shootout going on tonight at Westlake High School. That three won't go from Staley. And it is Westlake basketball. Substitutions here for both sides. And 
There's a lot of them. My memory not that good, so we'll just call out players' names as they touch it and call it good. Westlake will inbound here midway through the second quarter. 23-17. Lone Peak has held a pair of nine-point leads tonight. Westlake trying to hang around, battle back. Jones, the drive. We got a foul called here. It's on Lone Peak again. And it's going to be one and one. That's the seventh team foul on Lone Peak. And so it will be Dylan Jones here, one and one for the Thunder. Substitution, Tyler Burdett checking in here for Westlake as Caden Hoppins will catch a breather. Also DeMille checking in here for Lone Peak. One and one and Jones good on the first. Second here for Jones. Twenty-three, nineteen. Demille trying to deal with this feisty Westlake defense, and that one poked away by Anderson. Here is Ashton. Oh, just had that one hang up for a second. Through to the corner, offensive board, and a foul here on Lone Peak, and Westlake going to head back to the line. Habitual shooting motion, the call there. So two free throws. Oh, the first one. Good for Anderson. One more to come. Two for two. The line right now paying rewards to Westlake. After it was tough in the first quarter from the charity stripe. And this Westlake defense really seen them clamp down these last couple possessions. Tadji, another three off the mark. Batted around, gathered by McManus. First try wouldn't go. McManus had the tip. It was just off the mark, cleared by Fotheringham. Luke sends to Tadji. Here's Tanner, sends to the corner. DeMille, the three. Duckworth with the clear. Quickly up the floor with Westlake. Anderson in traffic. Boy, no call. There's uh, Westlake. Fans at least wanted one, as we'll get a whistle here. And foul called on Burdett. Hoppins and Wendell both coming back on for Westlake. Here's Swiggett. Poked away from behind again, Anderson. Hoppins working this around. Jones in the paint. Left it short. Wendell, Tadji able to jar it loose. Oh, Dallin trying to get that inside. And it's turned over. Jensen coming back on the floor for Westlake. Anderson going to come off the floor. He probably picked up, I don't know, two or three steals. In the couple minutes he was just on. Good defensive minutes there for Ashton. Jones for three. 
And Westlake has come back from a nine point deficit to take a lead inside of two to go. Fouled on the shot, Fotheringham. Gonna head to the line here, shooting three for Lone Peak. At the line, try three, number 15, Fotheringham. First free throw here for Luke. Able to tie it up. One more for Luke. Rattled out. One for three on the trip. He does tie it up. 24 apiece. Wendell gives it to Jensen. The three, that won't go. Batted out. Substitution now is Isaac Johnson going to come on the floor for Lone Peak. And Anderson back on for Westlake. Tanner, help collapsing down, sends it out. Sellers now has an outlet. Swig it for three. That shot off the mark. Jones with the rebound. Ashton on the run for Westlake. Step through, contact, and Ashton Anderson now going to head to the line with 108 left in the first half. Two free throws here for Anderson. I tell you, I love what we've seen from Ashton today. Averages 10 points per game. But defensively, and his ability to get up and down the floor has been a marked difference here early as his first free throw is too strong. And Ike Staley going to check back in here for Lone Peak. Staley, the freshman, several more years with Lone Peak and a multi-sport athlete. Second free throw for Anderson, good. Here's Tanner. Sellers, hard close there by Wendell, able to get back in position. Oh, nice take. And a good fiscal take there by Bryce Sellers to give Lone Peak the lead. There's Jones, defended by Johnson. Dillon, drive, little turnaround in the paint, won't go, got his own board. Oh, tough finish for Dillon Jones. I don't know how he got that shot off, much less made it. 10 seconds to go. Tanner gives it to Tadji. Jones on the help, the drive from Johnson, skips across and out, and the half comes to a close. Westlake. Makes up the deficit and has a one-point lead at the break. You're watching Game Night Live Rewind's Game of the Week presented by Heidemann Associates and brought to you by the Riley Jensen Mental Performance Group. Ready to start the second half. Dane Stewart here with you, Lone Peak and Westlake in a one-point battle. The Thunder trailed by nine a couple times in that first half. Lead by one at the break. Had a 16 to 11 second quarter to take that lead. As Lone Peak will start with the basketball, it was Dallin Tadji. Really, the first quarter had 11 points in that first quarter for Lone Peak. As they go high post here, Fotheringham trying to work inside. Got a little separation, but missed it. And Wendell with the rebound for the Thunder. Right through the fingertips of Jones and finds his way to DeMille. Going the other way. 
And the lead back to Lone Peak off the turnover. There's Jensen, Wendell, Hansen defending him, Hoppins. Somehow, Jones was able to get through traffic. It looked like that lane, there wasn't a lot of room to work, and Jones able to slither past. Nice pass to get him the ball out of the rim. Taji again from long range. That shot off the mark, Wendell with the board. Westlake again up the floor quickly here. Hoppins with the spin move. Other end, Fotheringham, a quick answer for Lone Peak. Trail. Jensen's three won't go, tapped out. Hoppins with it. Looking inside, and there's Willie. Tanner sends out Kale Hansen the three. That won't go. Boy, I thought a loose ball foul there. And we got a double foul. There's a double foul. First is on number three, Ashton Anderson. And on Lope is number three, Ben DeMille. I think Anderson and DeMille here being called. And it will be Westlake basketball. DeMille was looking for an explanation from the official. A substitution here, Swigget coming back on the floor for Lone Peak. <laughs> Westlake basketball. What a take by Wendell. <laughs> Fotheringham able to keep his dribble. It's a globetrotter move right there. Five point difference. That pass picked off. Jensen on the run. For Wendell, broken up by Swiggett, but will he able to regather? Jones, the three, blocked by Hanson. And now a foul called, no, out of bounds. I heard the whistle, could not see the official. The call was out of bounds. It'll be Westlake basketball. Wendell to Jones from the corner. And now an eight point lead for Westlake. Tanner, oh, a tough shot, too strong. And a loose ball foul here called on Fotheringham. Second team foul on Lone Peak. Westlake had 27 points at the break. They've scored 11 here in the first three minutes plus. We've got a substitution here for Lone Peak. As Isaiah Halverson checked in, had a equipment clarification there for him. He's good to go. I'll finish that note. Westlake is 0-4 when they score less than 60 points. That's happened three out of the last four matchups. They are trying to get on a pace where they can be above that. Here's Wendell, the three, won't go. Jarred loose, swing it with it, on the run. Halverson, little pump fake. Gets the shot away, won't go, taps it up, and Wendell has it.
Tanner for three. Missed it wide, ahead for Dylan Jones. Good. 10 point advantage and a timeout Westlake, or timeout Lone Peak, as Westlake has the largest lead of the contest. 30 second timeout called by Lone Peak, and for Lone Peak, number four. Jake said these are awesome for studying. Line. You shouldn't ever take someone else's medication. Know your script. Talk to your kids about the dangers of sharing prescriptions. Lone Peak basketball. Trailing by 10, largest differential in the game. Halverson on the drive. Terminated, sends out. Here's Halverson. Three from Staley, front of the rim. Tadji with the board, swig it now from long range, won't go. And the threes that were falling for Lone Peak early are not falling any longer. Drive in the lane, straight up. And that last touched by Lone Peak will be Westlake basketball. Three from Anderson. Swig it, able to end the run there by Westlake. This Lone Peak defense gonna have to start trying to find a way to get stops. That'll help as Anderson misses the shot. Sellers with the board. Swiggett had that one jarred loose. Jones the three, short. McManus couldn't corral it, it went to Jones. Down, Dylan thought he got fouled, no call from the officials. His lone peak up the floor, deflected and kept in. And then a foul here by Halverson. Boy, what a job by it was number 23, Brig Pfeiffer would not give up on the play, kept that in play. And Jones able to draw the, the foul. And in for Lone Peak, number two, McKay Turner, and number 15, with Fotheringham. Tanner and Fotheringham checking in for Lone Peak. Slender did now. Pfeiffer, now with McManus Jones, posting up Tanner. Couldn't get him the ball, nice job by McKay there. A drive from Anderson. Boy gets pushed wide due to the defense, doesn't matter. Adjusts and finish, Tanner kicks out. Tadji, he'll try the three, tough look. Pfeiffer, able to tap into Hoppins. Westlake on the run, Jones, count the bucket. And the foul as Taji called for the block. And a foul call. That foul on number 32. Taj is second. Team foul number four. Jones at the line. Shoot one. Good. Number 20. Three point play. Forty-eight, thirty-two. It is unofficially a twenty-one to six run by Westlake, as that three from Sellers won't go. The Thunder lost it out. It'll stay here. This was twenty-seven, twenty-six at the break. What a third quarter for the Thunder. And in for 
Is Kale Hansen going to come on the floor here? Got to get this in. Seller is able to gather it. And a foul called here. Offensive foul called on Sellers. Approaching one minute to go. Hoppins from the baseline, won't pick up the floor and KO can't keep it in. Hoppins, two more in the hopper, 20 point difference. Tanner, terminated, looking up top with Hanson. KO, the drive fouled on the take. Stops the clock with 14 seconds to go. And free throws here for Kale. Hanson at the line. 52 32. Kale makes the first. One more here for Hanson. One for two, and that one out of play off of Lone Peak. It's 52-33, they did not add the point, and now we've got a, uh, had to, I think, reset the scoreboard. Okay, yep. Ten seconds to go, picked off by Hanson. Leaves it for Tanner. Tadji the three. Hanson got the steal but couldn't score it. And the third quarter expires. A big third for Westlake. They take a 19 point lead into the fourth. You're watching Game Night Live Rewind presented by Hadman and Associates. Westlake basketball, 52-33. Westlake had 27 points at the half. They scored 25 in the third. A 25-6 difference as they have opened this game up. That ball on the floor, being batted around and a dual possession here called. And it will go to Lone Peak. Three good for DeMille. A little pressure here and a kick ball. Gonna be the call. Here's Hoppins. Yeah. 
Help coming. Inside, Wendell at the rim, two more. Tanner, stepping around, able to crawl that over the front of the rim. Anderson, head of steam, tried to hand that one off. Jones, that one wouldn't go on a blocking foul here called on Lone Peak. Two free throws here for Jones. First good and everything now good at Westlake. Man, this is uh, this is the Westlake team that I think a lot of us expected to see this season, and, and we've seen it in bunches. It talked about kind of the tough start to region play, but man, this team is, has been clicking tonight, really after that rough start. We talked about just hanging around, buying time, law of averages, and it has certainly played out that way. One pick has this down to a 16 point difference, but they have got to uh, get some, some more defensive stops here, and a bunch of them with uh, just a touch over six minutes to go. Anderson, the drive, count it. And a chance for a three-point play here for Ashton Anderson. Good. Here's DeMille, kicks out Tanner, a little pump fake, he'll drive. And Tanner fouled on the take. Two free throws coming up here for McKay Tanner. Young man that's been good from the line this year for Lone Peak. And McKay his first strong. Substitution racing to the table here for Lone Peak. And he'll make it. Second free throw from Tanner, good. Here's Hoppins. Duckworth had to deal with Tanner there. Ran through the middle. Thought I saw Wendell say, my bad, as he missed the cutter. Gets it to Jones and Dylan Jones. Man, mental resiliency. You talk about sticking to it. After a tough start, missed free throws, missed threes, even missed bunnies. And Dylan Jones has responded well for Westlake as there's Tanner, two more in the paint for McKay. Three on the way, won't go. And Wendell here gonna be called for the loose ball foul. Substitutions here for Lone Peak. Staley on the floor. Swig it on the floor. There's Swig it. 
He'll take the three. Off target. Gathered by Ashton Anderson. Anderson got it back and scores it. Tanner, tough, fade away, won't go. Three on the way, just won't go, and the rebound gathered by Staley. Approaching the midway point here in the fourth quarter. Westlake with a win here. Would uh, be tied up with American Fork. For fourth place in this region through the first round, they'd both be sitting at two and three in region play. And we'll have a timeout taken here by the Thunder. Timeout, Wesley. College wasn't built for me. It didn't care if I had to work a double shift. Or if my kid had a fever. Deadline's a deadline. I want to set the deadlines. I want to take tests when I'm ready. I want to take courses on my time. And speed up when I know my stuff. I want a university that cares about me. Tests on your time. Courses on your time. Graduate on your time. WGU, the nonprofit university of you. Tanner at the line here, just over four minutes to go in regulation. A Durfee Dozer standing behind the backboard here in the Lone Peak student section, trying to cheer on his fellow athletes at Lone Peak as Tanner hitting the first one more to come. Of course, Luke Durfee was Rewind's Code 6A Defensive Player of the Year for football this year. And Substitution here, never mind. Of course, K.O. Hansen on that state championship football team as well. We've seen him on the floor tonight. An offensive foul called here on Wesley Hop, excuse me, Jensen. Call. As Fotheringham checking back into the game here. Three on the way, that too strong. Rebounded by the Knights. Here's Swigget. Fotheringham trying to establish in the paint. Staley the three won't go. And we've got a loose ball foul here on Fotheringham. That foul on number 15, Fotheringham. Second, team foul number Second personal on Luke. And that the eighth team foul, so we'll head down and one on one free throws coming up here for Westlake. With this apparent loss, 18 point difference, 325 to go. Lone Peak could fall to 0 and 5 and region play 8 and 7 on the year. As that free throw won't go, rebounded there by the Knights. Nice job there by Staley. And it's been a tough year for Coach Ross and this group. Been great in non region. Nice drive there by Kramer. Thomas Kramer able to score it. Go and won, went and won their tournament in California. And we know Region 4 basketball is really, really tough. And it's been a tough Region 4 year. Dylan Jones. It was tough for him in the first four, six minutes. It's gotten a lot easier for him. You can see his confidence now just resonating on the floor. Fotheringham sends out. Staley the three, won't go. Offensive board there. Put back, won't go. Batted to the corner. Fotheringham trying to save it. But a foul gonna be given here as we'll walk down again and take more free throws for Westlake. 
Burgess is first. Keep out number nine. Substitution here for Lone Peak. As Best has checked on, checked in. Jackson Best, six foot guard. As Jensen at the line, good on the first. That was the ninth team foul on Lone Peak. Double bonus for Westlake the remainder of the contest. And two for two. Here's Staley in the paint. Westlake able to get a hand on it. Couldn't get a shot away. Jones, oh, that one just crawled off the front of the rim. Wendell with an offensive board. Here's Hoppins. Jensen, Staley defending him. Jones, that three won't go. Fathering him. Clears the rebound. That drive won't go. Fotheringham, an offensive board, goes up. Count the bucket. And one for Luke Fotheringham. As it gets the offensive board and the putback. One and a half to go here. As Jorge Suarez, 6'4", junior, checking in here for Lone Peak. And reserves preparing to come on here for West Lake. What a response from the Thunder. Trailed by nine, multiple times. Able to come back and pretty resounding win here for the Thunder. Talking about they averaged 69 points per game in non-region, or on the year. In region play, it's just been 60. It's been tough to get that offense going. We alluded to that earlier, but it's back on schedule tonight as Fotheringham here. The three-point play won't go. Free throw miss and then batted out by Burgess. It'll be Westlake basketball. <laughs> Westlake trying to inbound. Fotheringham here going to be called for the foul. And we'll walk down. Free throws coming up here for Tyler Burdett. What a job Coach Carling has done. We were here several years ago. Frank Jackson and kind of the build up. And that was this the year Westlake's going to get Lone Peak. They fell short that night. A team that, I'll say it again, I think the best team in the state last year, if they're healthy, they weren't. But, uh, is getting into it here, officials separating things, dual possession. But you talk about where this program is as a basketball program, what Coach Carling has done here at Westlake. Hunter Phillips in the house tonight at Slick, gray shirting this year. I think of the players that have come through here, Fawcett's and so many namesakes and others. And man, it's been a, a heck of a job by Coach Carling. As Burdett with the steal. In the corner. At three, too strong. Offensive board by Pfeiffer. As we're approaching one minute to go here in regulation. I would presume in what might be the most lopsided Westlake win in this series history. Of course, I don't know that. Our research department taking the Friday night off. But it has been a good night if you're a fan of the mighty thunder. 
Fotheringham in the paint, fouled on the take. Stops the clock with 32 seconds left. Two free throws for Luke. That one too strong, rebounded by Westlake. Three on the way, won't go. Out of play. It'll be Lone Peak basketball. Fotheringham. Sends out, three from Burgess. Won't go, Fotheringham to put back. And the Westlake Thunder, despite trailing early, a 25 to six third quarter propels them to the 68-52 final. As they defeat the Lone Peak Knights. For Vince Francis, my name is Dane Stewart. Thank you for joining us here on Game Night Live Rewind. Presented by Heidemann Associates, brought to you by the Riley Jensen Mental Performance Group, only on kslsports.com.